Hey Art Nerds, today we are reviewing the INC Colorpoint Mechanical Pencils. These were purchased at the Dollar Tree in Elmwood. So these were purchased at a Dollar Tree in Louisiana. And these are really neat because there's a few reasons why. But what really drew me to these in particular was the fact that they have colored LEDs inside them. And those of you who watch my channel know I use colored LEDs for my underdrawing. So I thought these could be a really cool thing to review on this channel, particularly for teachers who are interested in introducing their students to the concept of using colored LEDs for underdrawings. So in each pack, you receive four mechanical pencils. It seems like there are two different colors color sets available, pink, lime green, blue, and purple, red, orange, yellow, and green. They have a 2.0 millimeter lead, and there seems to be a sharpener in the cap, which is pretty cool. It says it is refillable. I did not see refill, refills in my store, but there may be refills available on the Dollar Tree site, or you may be able to refill them with any 2.0 millimeter lead. These are made by INC. There's instructions on the back to sharpen, press two through three times to extend the lead, remove the sharpener end by pulling from the top, insert lead and twist clockwise until sharpened. They are imported by Greenbrier International, that is Dollar Tree's parent company, and they were made in China. So we receive four pencils that are 2.0 millimeters, that's how wide the diameter of the lead is. It has a built-in sharpener, it's refillable, and it contains colored lead. So let's go ahead and remove these from their blister packaging coffins. Upon unpackaging these color pencils, I was impressed by how sturdy they feel. Sometimes when I buy things from Dollar Tree, they feel really cheaply made. They also remind me of Crayola Twistables and Zebra's uh, mechanical color pencils. And I have reviews for the Zebra mechanical color pencils. And I actually have some Crayola Twistables here in Luling, so I may do a side-by-side -side comparison for you guys. These were not sold with the art supplies, they were sold with the stationary supplies, but I feel like they could probably go either way. And they definitely feel like a fun, very affordable way to play around with mechanical pencil colored leads. So, they are plastic bodied with a metal ferrule. They're actually pretty cute. And you twist, what do, which part do we twist? Do we twist this part? Come on. Do we twist this part? It says to twist. Where do I twist? Help, send help. This is the part that you remove to sharpen it. And then this is the feed to refill it. Maybe we don't twist, do we? Ha ha, oh look, we don't twist. We clickety clickety, which is fine with me. I actually like this. So it actually seems like it's a lead holder, a knock style lead holder, perhaps, um, or a clutch style lead holder. You back advancement and you sharpen using, oh, it's got this teeny tiny little sharpener. These are actually pretty well made. And look, this is the point, the lead pointer in the back. I'll show you guys in a minute because all of them come like this and they come with leads that match, match the body of the pencil. So, so far I'm kind of impressed, these are cute. I'm gonna remove all the leads to show you guys and then check back in. So these are actually impressively cute and well made. I feel like you're actually getting a lot for your dollar. So when I was a younger artist, I was really interested in lead holders because you could purchase turquoise blue lead from, Stra uh, from Stadler, no. Uh, Prismacolor's parent company, I'll remember it later. Anyway, you could purchase um, blue 2.0 millimeter leads, and it was actually very pricey, especially here in Louisiana. And you didn't really have a variety of colored leads that you could buy down here. So it's really cool to see that you can get four uh, lead holder style pencils for a dollar and not only that but you get four different colored leads inside the pencil and they match the pencils these are really cute I really like the form factor and I like the back advancement that's closer to how I'm comfortable with using a pencil um, and I like that they're available in eight total colors they may be available in more colors but there were eight colors available at my Dollar Tree and already I feel like even if you don't like the colored leads you could go buy graphite leads, graphite, um, for like lead holders, graphite leads, and just put them in these pencils. So if you're an art teacher and you're teaching your kids some draftsmanship or perhaps some portrait sketching, sketching using larger lead sizes and, and softer leads, these could be a really great way to hold those leads at a very affordable price because lead holders 
are anywhere from three to eight dollars and then up from there whereas these are about 25 cents each so i already feel like you're getting a deal even if you decide you don't like the leads themselves so i'm going to put the leads back in the pencils and we'll get to swatching so I just realized you guys probably wanna see how the leads would go back into the pencils. So I'll show you guys the two different options we have. You can depress the fake plastic eraser in the back and then just carefully feed it in through the front or you can remove the back, feed it in through this hole here and then click it holding it down until it advances in the front. So it's really whatever method you're comfortable with using and whatever method you think is less prone to breaking. If I were teaching a class, I would feed it from the back because that way we don't have an exposed lead that could get broken very easily. And then just have them click it until it comes forward. So, yeah, it's nice. See, this is why I do the Dollar Tree reviews because every now and then I find a product that I'm like, this is great. They're, they're, this in the art world is usually way more expensive. This is fantastic. This makes it much more accessible to people. So every now and then you get a real gem and I really like these. Even at a dollar each, once I know, now that I know what they are, I would think they were great. But the fact that you get four for a dollar and the lead is inside, I'm like, oh, that's really cool. So in the next portion of this test, we're gonna swatch the colors. We're also gonna try erasing them. Now these are Pentel high polymer erasers. I've talked about these in the past with some of my Walmart reviews. I really like them. They are soft white vinyl erasers. They are less prone to tearing up your paper. They are more likely to erase your graphite and they're less likely to cause uh, paper tearing and smearing. So I really prefer these over kind of the standard pink pearl erasers that people usually grab. They also have little pencil topper erasers. These are not quite as nice as the big block erasers, but they're still pretty good. So um, I'm going to swatch them and then I'm going to erase them. But I also wanted to point out something that I like about these is that they're in a pencil form factor. So you could just go ahead and put a comfort grip on this. You could do that for sketching, you could do this for kids who have maybe different learning needs, different writing needs, different drawing needs. These could be good for people with arthritis. So as a lead holder, they are lightweight, they're plastic, so they're going to have some give to them. They're not going to tear up your hand as much as, say, a metal lead holder would. And you can put grips on them. So I am already really excited about these, if you guys can't tell. You can also pop an eraser on the back. Now it's gonna cover up the sharpener, but it does give you that eraser. So let's go ahead and get to swatching these. Okay guys, so my mom just came into the room and I wish I recorded her reaction to these because she thinks these are really cool too, especially when I explain them to them. And it would have been really neat to capture that kind of vocal response. But she wants to see me swatch them and she wants to see me sharpen them. I said she should hang out and give me some live response. So you're gonna hear two voices at this point. The other voice is my mom. So we're gonna start with kind of the tropical colors, the orange, the yellow, the red, and the green. I'm gonna quickly just sort them in sort of a rainbow order. And we're gonna zoom -y zoom on in a little bit more. Okay, so this is our yellow. I'm gonna do swatches for, oh, these are buttery. Wow. There was a little bit of like black schmutz on the lead itself, but these are actually pretty buttery for what they are. I'm also gonna test erasability. I don't know. Sometimes you don't know until it's just you do it. Don't know yeah. And that's kind of the difference, the main difference between a mechanical pencil and a lead holder is just the size of the lead. But they also, lead holders use like a clutch me mechanism to clutch yeah, yeah, onto yeah. the lead. So these are actually pretty buttery. They were sold with like uh, school supplies, but not necessarily with art supplies or with coloring book supplies. But I could even see people who do coloring books liking these because you can sharpen them really fine, but they're also mechanical. So you're not constantly like running off to the pencil sharpener.
Yeah, the only downside would be getting getting the refills. And larger Dollar Trees might even have the refill packs and I just don't know about it. Well, you could check online for that. Yeah, that's true, because their online shop is but pretty good. For a dollar. And different colors, all different color LEDs. Like, it's not just different color pencils with the same lead color, it's all different color LEDs. Which, you know, has to make it more expensive, right? Like, because you're not just putting four of the same thing in. So these could also be good for, like, car trips. Because, like, kiddos don't have to sharpen it to color. I'm gonna end up comparing them to the Crayola Twistables in a little bit because that's what they seem comparable to. All right, so now I'm gonna do the other set, the purple, light blue, green, and pink. Also rich. Yeah, yeah, the pigment load is pretty good. Like, I'm not really fighting to get color on the paper like you sometimes do yeah, with cheap yeah. it's color pencils yeah and this is gonna this would be a good one for under sketching just because yeah, yeah. I like it's using that, that blue, blue yeah but the pink would be good too are they blendable do um to know they're a little bit blendable and I do have a uh, blending color pencils blenders over to the side like if you could get enough color I think you could blend them pretty well so I'm gonna try erasing them and then I'll try doing like a rainbow blend of them. So, I mean, color pencils in general. They do erase They some. erase a little bit, yeah. Color pencils in general are not great at erasing and the Crayola erasable color pencils are awful at being color pencils. Did that erase pretty well. The pink I mean, did, yeah. The blue's gonna do okay. And the green is actually maybe one of the best ones right. for erasing. So the lighter the colors, the lighter, the easier they are to Yeah, the more they're going to come up off the paper. Now I'm going to try doing a rainbow blend. So I'll just kind of reorder them a little bit. Well, that'd be great if you could find the whole set. Well, they wouldn't sell a full set at Dollar Tree. If I could find like more colors at Dollar to Tree, find that at Dollar Tree. No, that's why every. That's why I still do the Dollar Tree reviews. Is because sometimes I find stuff that's like really great. Because like lead holders are like eight bucks a pop, especially if you have to buy them from like Michaels or Hobby Lobby because that's what you have in your area. But these are basically lead holders. Oh, look at the color in the middle, huh? You could replace the mm -hmm. lead. What I layered them but I didn't do much blending. So they layer well. They're not like overly waxy either. So yeah, these are cool. Another thing is if these are popular and people like them, then Dollar Tree's gonna continue to stock them and they may also carry the refills. I don't know how much choice they get. Well, this is these are made by Jot, yeah. and Jot is, oh no, it's INC. And INC is one of their imprint, their brands. Well, that means you should be able to order them online. Too. Probably, yeah. I didn't even, I haven't even looked yet. I'll probably link, if I can find these on their site, I'll link them in the description. Especially for teachers who want to buy like a bunch for their class, yeah. that would be easier for them than like trying to get, you know, five packs or whatever from their local Dollar Tree. They blend pretty well considering they're like a dollar color pencils. Hey, I found some some really good buys of dollar. Yeah, tree. yeah, you just gotta yeah. like be willing they're to try ones, new things. They are the ones that turn me on to the kind of blood pencils that, that works best for them. Although it's not that Okay, so that's just me blending the pencils into each other. I am going to use a Prismacolor pen color pencil, 
and a Derwent blender. And we're gonna see, let's grab a color where you would actually be able to see. We're gonna see how well these kind of blend. So we'll do some red and then we'll do some purple. Now because these are so soft, you will probably use them up faster. That's just part of softer color pencils. Cheaper color pencils have more wax in them. So they, well, these are cheap, but um, I'm talking about like crazy art. It tends to have a lot of wax in it. So yeah, they last longer, but young artists, kids, even adult artists are, get frustrated with like crazy art brand stuff because it just performs really poorly and you have to fight with it to use it. So we're gonna use the color, the Prismacolor pencil. Okay, all right, all right, these blend, these blend. And then we're gonna try the Derwent. All right, not as nice as the Prismacolor, still blends though. Yeah, yeah, these are all right, these are pretty good. So, I still need to sharpen them for you guys. So I'll do that. I don't necessarily need a sharp point, but I do want to show you guys how they sharpen. So let's let's extend our lead a little bit. And it goes in the top like this. Then so you, you get twist off the it. Pencil. Yeah, I take the top off the pencil, I twist it. You are gonna get some small shavings, but you can get a really, wow, like a needle fine that. point on that. So that's super sharp. Depending on how much you lead you see And then now. to get it to retract a bit, you gotta depress the back again, and then I would use two fingers gently wrapped yeah. around it. And this is gonna give you like a sketching point. So you can get a really fine point on these for sketching and doing underdrawing stuff like that. Okay guys, so for the last part of this tutorial, I'm going to sharpen this light blue. I'm gonna do an underdrawing and then I'm going to uh, tighten that drawing up using one of my other Dollar Tree mechanical pencils. So this is also an INC product. It is the Side Clicks and I have kind of a mini short review where I talk about that and several other mechanical pencils as well. So you guys should check that out. So before you remove the back, you do need to extend the lead enough that you have something to sharpen. I keep forgetting that because you can't press this metal ferrule. It doesn't go anywhere. This is the thing that extends the lead. And the way that works is it basically pushes this whole little tube down, releasing the clutch mechanism. So we're gonna sharp it a bit. And if you hold it up like this, it catches the shavings. And then you can dump the shavings into a trash can or into some sort of a trash receptacle like on your desk. All right, depress that. And if you were traveling and you wanna protect the tip, you can depress it all the way like this and then just click it forward. Fairly easy to draw with. It might be nice to put a comfort grip on these if you're gonna use them for drawing consistently. So let's actually take the little pink comfort grip I scavenged from another pencil. Pop that on there for now. That's another thing too. If you really like a product at Dollar Tree and you wanna make sure they don't discontinue it, you can send them an email and tell them you love it and that way they know that there's a market for it. Or well, if you'd like to see them in other colors. Oh, that's true, the, the yeah, to request more you, colors. You really like the pencils. Do they make them in other colors? I mean, there's no guarantee that they're gonna no. do it, but. If they hear enough of things like that from people, then. They're more likely they to do it. There's a market for it. Because so. they know. I mean, I wouldn't just tell the people at the store. You can tell the people at the store, no. hey, I really like this, and they'll make sure to restock it. But, you know, if you want to see more of a certain product, you do need to tell the, the manufacturer themselves. These are cool, though. I'm probably going to end up running the Dollar Tree mm -hmm. and picking up some for my students. Especially the younger ones, because for the younger ones, the colored leads that I buy for my mechanical pencils, they're very prone to snapping, and these yeah. are much less prone to snapping. And you do, you do go to 
uh, Dollar Tree periodically because they do change out stock. Yeah, and they, they do, change they their stock. Things, and if you don't go often enough, then you'll miss out on some, some good buys. All right, let's try penciling on top of it now. Because the other ones you use like that are, are leads. They're actual leads and not clean pencils, right? I don't For normally the use the, the ones use. this big. I use mechanical pencils right. with colored leads in them. But that's a lead. That's not a, that's not a crayon. Um, color pencil color. It, I mean, it might be. So how does that work with that? The graphite, and this is just whatever graphite came in the pencil. Right. It's going over it really nicely. Sometimes with some of these colored leads, like with colored pencils, I don't always recommend kids do their underdrawings with like Crayola because mm -hmm. it tends to be waxy, waxy and then it resists the graphite. Right. Right. I'm not having that problem with these. So that's probably more of a colored lead than a colored Color pencil, yeah. yeah. Well, it seems to have a really high pigment load. Like I was able to blend them really mm -hmm. nicely yeah. using a, a colorless yeah. blender. So these are surprisingly good. Now the pencil you're using used to come in a four pack with a pack of lead. Yeah. And extra erasers that came. Now it comes in a six pack with none of those things. Right. So that's another reason to like, if you like something to tell the Dollar Tree because they may try to reformat the packaging to better appeal to their customers. But if they know there's a strong market for what they already have, they may just leave it as is. Especially with school, starting in a couple of months and they're getting ready to restock all their stores with yeah. school supplies. They're already starting to do that well, right now. But kind of the stuff. focus for this set of Dollar Tree reviews is for like art teachers, church groups, uh, Bible camps, that kind of stuff, for people who are buying supplies right, for right, a right, lot right, of right, kids, right. for them to be able to find stuff that's affordable but also good. Because nothing chases kids, I think very little chases kids out of art, quite like teachers who are discouraging and art supplies that fight them every step of the way. Yeah, yeah. So cheap is not always good. No. These are good. But, but like expensive these. is not always good either. Right. Because expensive does not necessarily mean better. Easier to use, better for. Right. And then also a lot of places you might not have access to the expensive stuff right. because like Michaels doesn't carry higher in brushes, for example. Right. So you may not even, you may be forced to just look at people use it online and be jealous and sad because you can't find it. So it's nice for people to review. And ex Amazon. Yeah, there is Amazon, but Amazon doesn't carry everything either. Yeah, and their art supply prices are really expensive. It's about accessibility. Yeah, it's all about accessibility. So these are actually really great. I really like these. I'm gonna try to get a hold of some more of them for my students. So, if you guys are watching this and you're wondering why someone would do a drawing with colored leads like this, the explanation is kind of a dated one, but we, we're reticent to let it go. So, um, colored leads, particularly blue leads like this, like a non-photo blue lead color, old scanners, old photocopiers could not pick up this light blue. So you would do your drawing with the blue, or you could do the drawing with the red and the scanner wouldn't pick it up. It would just pick up these darker, the darker graphite here. Nowadays, it will pick it up, but you can use a program like Photoshop to basically drop these colors. And I have tutorials about that here on this channel as well as over on the blog. Another thing, using multiple colored LEDs with young artists can be good because when you're doing this sort of underdrawing construction, they tend to get kind of confused and lost in the details. So sometimes it's helpful for them to sketch the basic shapes with a colored lead like this. And I don't know if my camera's picking that up. So I'll do it again in red. It's good for them to kind of sketch the basics in one color. So maybe like all the underdrawing, that kind of thing. And then they can go in with a darker color. They can maybe go in with purple and they can draw in some of the darker details. And that kind of helps reinforce that drawing, especially creative illustration like this, it can be done in stages. It can be built up in stages. So these can also be a really great tool if you're teaching like basic figure drawing or if you're teaching like how to draw faces, things like that, where you're building up the art over several stages. So these are really, really great. And I feel weird, like part of me is like, oh yeah, you should tell them so that they can go to Dollar Tree and get them and Dollar Tree is more likely to carry them. And then part of me is like, no, there's gonna be a run on these and I won't be able to find them anymore. But I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and pick up a bunch of them before I even release this video. So I'm gonna get my head start. But 
if you see these jot color point, oh, I'm sorry, ink color point color pencils, these things are great. You should pick them up, especially if you are an artist, if you have a young artist in your life, if you enjoy coloring, if you're an art teacher, or if you just wanna add a little bit of color to your notes, these are surprisingly good. The leads are buttery, rich, highly pigmented. They sharpen very easily to a very sharp point. And the mechanical pencil itself, oh, excuse me, the pencil itself is fairly well made for a dollar. It's also sized that if you need a comfort grip for whatever reason, you can put a comfort grip on your pencil and draw more easily. So I wanna thank you guys for hanging out with me today for watching the amazing ColorPoint Mechanical Pencil Review. I was really impressed with these. I really like them. And I hope that I've turned you guys on to these as well and turned you guys on to the idea of exploring your own Dollar Tree for goodies. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the ColorPoint or the INC ColorPoint Review today. In each package of color point pencils you receive four colors in one set you will receive let me sort them for you guys you will receive sort of like tropical pastels so you'll receive a lime green a sky blue a pink and a purple in the other set you're going to get more traditional colors a red a yellow a darker green it's darker than the body itself leads you to believe a darker green and an orange these are really well made little click point lead holders i really enjoyed using them i really enjoyed reviewing them and i am excited to introduce them to my students i think they could be a great tool for teachers as well as for artists or for parents who have kids who are interested in drawing illustration and comic art these could also be a great pencil for people who enjoy doing adult coloring or need to color smaller areas or may even have problems using traditional mechanical pencils. So I have a set of Crayola Twistables, um, the color pencil style Twistables, and I would love to compare them for you guys. And I will do that in another video. So keep an eye out for that. Hopefully I will see you guys again really soon. And it seems like whenever I'm wrapping up a video, all of the noise in the world happens. So I apologize for that. Life is chaos. I'm sure you guys understand that. And I don't work in a recording studio. I work in a real person, real life, environment so that's just part of being a person anyway if you enjoyed this video i really want you guys to check out some of my other dollar tree reviews i hope you will find them to be just as useful helpful and informative and i really really hope this video was inspiring for you guys i will see you guys again really soon and it's always a pleasure to discover a cool art supply with you guys especially an affordable cool art supply so i hope you guys have a great day bye guys